A big part of SEO is measuring your rank on Google. So if someone searches pizza, do you rank number one, number two, or number three in what's called the snack pack, which is the block of local results showing up on Google? Google has made it pretty difficult to measure your rank systematically across various cities or towns. But in this video, I'm going to show you some nifty tips and tricks so that you can measure your local rank on Google and you can vary the city or town as you do your searches. Let's get started. Now, what do we mean here? Let's go to Google, do an incognito window. So over here on the right, go incognito window. And I'm just going to go to Google, so make, make sure I see the sort of tabula rasa results here and I'm going to type in wash and fold and I'm going to show you you can see here that it's showing me local results in Fremont California and even if you look at the Google suggest the Google autocomplete you'll see it says Fremont California so your customers are typing in wash and fold and that's going to vary based on where they are what city they are what results they see well guess what Google doesn't have a tool anymore or an easy way for you to see as the SEO consultant, the SEO expert, the business owner, you know, how do I rank in Fremont, in Union City, in Santa Clara, in Palo Alto, and all this fragmented suburbia that most of us live and work in. Okay, so the first tool is the serps.com Google location tool and it's really nice little tool so I've got the link for you in the YouTube description let's click over to the tool so you put your keyword in the tool here let me zoom in so you put your keyword in this case I'm going to go with wash and fold so the business is a, a home pickup and delivery dry cleaning service we know people search for wash and fold they don't type in wash and fold Stanford Connecticut they just type in wash and fold so we type in wash and fold and then we can start typing Stanford Connecticut and select that location and then hit search so you type your keyword that you want to check your rank for and then you type your location that you want to check Stanford Connecticut New Canaan Connecticut Port Chester New York etc and then you hit your search button so I'm gonna hit search and what this nifty tool does is it spoofs Google with some magical code there so this is wash and fold as if I'm in Stanford, Connecticut, and you can see here that our rank is number two in the snack pack. So we're B as in boy, number two in the snack pack, which is the local results. And you can scroll down here and you can see we're number three organic. So we're number four, my bad, we're number four organic, and we're number B as in boy, or number two in the snack pack for wash and fold with the city as Stanford. Now let's say you don't want to check Stanford, you want to check another city nearby, you can just change this to Port Chester, New York, and hit search and see maybe we rank there. I'm not sure we do. So we don't rank in the snack pack, so we're not ranking in the snack pack, and do we rank at all? So we're about a number seven or eight in organic. So we're ranking here in organic. So for location, Port Chester, search query wash and fold we do not rank in the local snack pack and we rank about number seven or so for organic again we can change this we can say well how do we do in Greenwich Connecticut which is very close to Stanford so I select Greenwich wash and fold search so we're number three in the snack pack and we are number four in organic so this tool here by serps.com is a wonderful free tool where you can browse the internet and you can see your location across searches. I really like this tool. It's really a nifty, uh, effective tool for checking local rank. Secondly, you can use the Google AdWords preview tool to also look at your rank across locations. And it has a nice feature that enables you to look at the mobile phone so what do you look like on the phone all right so let's open up this tool and fortunately for this tool you do not have to actually have an adwords account to just check your rank okay so i'm going to go up to the search query i'm going to put in wash and fold let me zoom in here for you okay so i'm going to put in wash and fold right here 
And then I'm going to change my location to Stanford, Connecticut, right here. And it's, it's really neat. You can do zip codes. You can do it down to a zip code level, like in New York City or some big city like that, where there's variation based on the zip code of where you are. So I can do wash and fold, Stanford, Connecticut, preview. And then again, it's going to pop up the results here. And you can see we're number two, or often recorded as B as in boy, A, B, C. So we're B as in boy number two in the snack pack. And we're number four in organic. Now, you can also change this to a mobile device, right? And that's nice because now you can see, like, what would the consumer see if uh, she searched for wash and fold location Stanford and she's on her phone? So she's going to see commuter cleaners there be in the snack pack and then uh, down a little bit she's going to see us um, in organic somewhere down here about number four or five now that's nice because sometimes if you put in say family law attorney or something you're probably going to see a lot of ads right and this is important because this shows you for family law attorney right you're going to see ad 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 and then the snack pack and then the organic. So especially on the phone, the ads have really crowded out the organic listings um, on Google. So that's important to know that. Now, you can also do it by a zip code. You can put 74135, which is uh, a zip code in Oklahoma, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And again, you can type in pizza. You can type in whatever keywords you're measuring. And you can see for the zip code 74135, what will they see on their phone? And that's including... Uh, the snack pack when it's going to cooperate. It's, not, it's being a little bit un, uncooperative there. Okay, let's change that back to desktop, desktop, go, preview. And you can see there what you see in a zip code. And that's going to change as you go across zip codes. Okay, so wrapping up just quickly, we're understanding our local rank and realizing that especially for short tail queries, pizza, wash and fold, family law attorney, that what you see on Google varies based on your physical location down to really the zip code level or even smaller, it varies. So you've got to measure that systematically. The first tool that we looked at is the serps.com location changer, which is a really nifty free tool so you can see your location by putting a city in and some keywords, and you can measure your rank manually there. The second tool is the Google AdWords preview tool. The nice feature of this tool is you can also look at a phone and see how things look on a phone as well. So both of these tools are excellent for you to kind of bop around uh, the suburbs, the fragmented cities, the fragmented zip codes in a big city like New York City or Los Angeles and see how does the world look differently? How do, how do you rank differently uh, as you move around geographic locations? Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel. And of course, always, 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 if you have questions, put them in the YouTube questions below.